Hello, EFD squad, you dirty dogs, and welcome Ooh. back to a very, very special episode of Stat Wars, straight from the mind of George Wright. A great idea in the pantheon of great ideas we've had on Euro Football Daily. Yes. It's the Stat Wars Super Copper. Big. Stat Wars, Big. the league champion versus Stat Wars, the champions champion. champion. You're going to see the christening of the champ champ. Lucky devils. And I'm wearing I'm North Face because I'm ready to scale the heights of great. Nice. I'm wearing green trousers and purple socks. So, yeah, I think I've already like won. Like a park ranger. Anyway, how are you feeling about today? I'm feeling fantastic. I'm feeling ready. I've had my apple this morning and I'm ready to go. What about yourself? Apple's very good brain food. It, it People is don't know food. that. Apparently an apple is as good at waking you up as a cup of coffee. It is. Yeah, I'm fantastic. And you know why I'm also feeling lighter than air? Ooh, because transition. someone has finally sponsored the spaceship. Yes. All right, our friends over at Now TV are bringing this episode directly to your screens. And you can stream now on the Now TV app. The month pass for just £5.99 gets you access to a host a plethora of delightful Premier League games. Talking of delightful, over to the man who dribbles mm. his vowels. Or is it consonants? Uh, vowels. Combinations. Uh, oh, no, no, it is consonants, sorry, yeah. yeah no, anyway, so yeah, Kieran. Yeah. Kieran. Hit us up. Oh, yeah, Kieran's off on holiday. So I'm here for one episode, so don't kick off in the comments, yeah? I don't want to be here, you don't want me here. Let's agree to get on for 15 minutes of disappointment. Question one, and it comes from Hasnain Tariq. Nailed it. Who are the only English team to have won the league, the top league, and then get relegated the next season? Ooh. Tasty, tasty, tasty. I think I might actually know this one. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I think I might know it. Um, <laughs> I think Man City might have done it in the 1930s, um, which was, you know, a glorious era for English football. Herbert Chapman with Huddersfield. <sighs> that's the only one that's ringing out to me. Obviously, Leicester could have done it, couldn't they, in 2016-17, but they didn't. Got saved by Shakespeare, another English great. Could have been a tragedy, but, you know, it, was a, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, then. It was more of a, I don't know, comedy? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Taming of um, the I can't think of anything better. Um, and I could, nothing, nothing's ringing out to me right now. Um, and, I th and I think this did happen. I'd have kicked myself if I didn't say it. I think it was Manchester City. Yes! Excellent yes. quizzing. Undisputably oh. good quizzing. Um, I do have quite good olden days knowledge. Question is from Wilson. Can you name one of the two clubs that have won the European Cup slash Champions League more than once and have never lost a final. Mmm, I'm not a professional. Ajax went from being an amateur mediocre club to winning a lot of finals and then Good, yeah. may never have reached finals. Well, they won it with Clive that got that goal, didn't he? Against AC 19 year old Patrick Clive yeah. scoring in the final of his career yeah. before before he ended up at Newcastle. Great times. That was Clive and Shearer in a team. You can you imagine? Alan Smith. Should be lucky. They should be happy. They should be happy that they had Clive and Shearer in one team. Just as in the same way that they should be happy that Mike Ashley spent that 50 mil. Yeah. You know, out of his own pocket. What a great guy. It, you know what? So he raises a very legitimate point. Why isn't Rafa Benitez <laughs> footing the transfer know, to right? Newcastle? Calls himself a football man. I know. Calls himself a Geordie. Fraud. <laughs> but I feel like Barcelona are, are an obvious answer, and I can't think when when they've lost when they've lost yeah, in a sure final because they first won it with the dream team with Pep Guardiola's. Oh, I think they, have, they might have lost it the final subsequently in the next couple of years. To AC Milan, they might have lost 3 0. I think, yeah. I think they got a panning, didn't they? They yeah. got a drubbing by, <coughs> by that vintage AC side. Okay, so it's not Barcelona, we've worked that out. The fans want an answer, Chris. I'm going through a process of elimination here, mate, all right? Well, of every team that's won the Champions every League in European Cup. Every single team, and there's you quite a will few. listen. There's quite a few. For God's sake, Chelsea won one final, one victory. Can I have a guess? Nottingham Forest, Correct. and I think Porto. And Porto. 
Oh. Because they um, won it in the 80s. I did not know they won it in the 80s. Well, I withheld that information from you because I didn't, want you to, that. <laughs> I didn't want you to get the question right. Next question, only in the second yeah. question. I did take a long time then, didn't I? You did you take quite yeah. a long time, but you know, it's, to it's, no it's all right. Avail. It's all right, there's a lot of history to be scouring over there. Who is the top scoring Premier League defender this season? Dead easy, and it comes from LJF. Instantly, I think Marcus Alonso maybe, but he has. I don't feel like he's been scoring as much as he did last season. This is a tough one, actually. Nathan Ake's got three, I, I remember reading the other day, but I think that might be too obscure. Shane Duffy has scored a few for Brighton, at least two. Because Alon like, I feel like I'll kick myself if I don't say Alonso and it is Alonso. To be honest, I'm just going to go with Marcus Alonso because I can't, I can't categorically say that anyone scored more than him. It was Shane Duffy. Shane oh, Duffy. Man. Ben Clark wants to know, who is the youngest foreign player to have ever scored in the Premier League? Does that mean non-English or non-British? I don't know or care. That's actually quite a difficult one. The youngest foreign-born player to score a goal in the Premier League. So it must have happened this season for it to be topical. Probably isn't playing for Neil Warnock, for, for Neil Warnock at Cardiff. Yeah, I love that how he was, you know, spouting nonsense about, about Brexit, sitting in front yeah. of a Visit Malaysia yeah. advertising board, being paid by a Malaysian yeah. millionaire with a squad that contains, I think, 15 different nationalities. So, yeah. Neil Warnock. Yeah. Better, better, better off without them, apparently. Okay, some young guns, just to get the, the old juices going. Yeah, I'm hitting a bit of a blank. Youngest foreign player, how old is Foyth at Tottenham? He's post 20, isn't he? Oh, you said doesn't count Republic of Ireland, does it? Declan Rice scored at 19. Um, pass. Can I have a go? Yeah. Was it Fabregas? Yeah. So not current. Topical because he left the Premier League. Just left the Premier League. That is a I proper, <laughs> proper <laughs> house question. Yeah, well, it was topical, just completely in a different direction <laughs> to, the, to the course I heavily navigated down. Make Anthony, thanks for your question, mate. It's an absolute stone cold stunner, yeah? And it's this. What would happen, how would play continue if a goalkeeper scored an own goal from a goal kick? Mmm, you don't know it. If a goalkeeper scored an own goal this is bizarre. from a free kick, from an, a goal kick, how would play continue? What? This is absolutely bizarre, man. What? I mean, I could send a complaint in here to the Stat Wars um, authorities, because... Have you ever, is... ever felt like this? Strange, Strange things, things happen when you're going, going around, around the, the twist. twist. Boom. Greatest Australian export. Better than Harry Kuehl, that. After around the, the twist. Pierre Andre is probably up there as well, but P I'd say Pierre Andre, that, yeah. good bod, but yeah, no substance, all yeah, style, all style. Whereas around the twist was a lot great, of, a lot of brill, cream. Mysterious girl, this is a bit of a mysterious question. Has a goalkeeper ever scored from a goal kick though? I, I expect not, because why would he kick it into his own goal? Unless the wind kind Bloody of like windy yeah, day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, windy. I, my, my knowledge of the, the the obscure kind of depths of kind of football rules and it's not big enough. So unless it's just a goal to the opposition and then they kick off which I expect it, I, I feel like that might be a trick question, or it's not counted as a goal and it's retaken, or a drop ball, or an indirect free kick to the opposition. Seeing as this is, you know, this obscure, I'm gonna say an indirect free kick to the opposition in the penalty area. A what? Corner kick what? That, is so sh that is so sh <laughs> <laughs> That is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, Love that though. I, I mean, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed. I didn't get that. I'm annoyed. Of, I'm annoyed at the question, but it is. It's a funny. Levels it's a funny of house roof for questions yeah. submitted on Stat Wars. That is up there. Yeah. That is up there. Did someone actually put that in the comments? To pick oh that. Oh my god. To pick that for a final. Did you check that that was actually the case as well? George is like, <laughs> it's like a jigsaw. That's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever, ever encountered. Sneaky hider, bang! Here it comes, mate. A question from you, and it's this: Can you tell us? Which, or who, or what team, yeah, all useful words, was the first team to not score in a World Cup final? Got there in the end, getting with our satellite. Strong historical theme throughout all my questions. Yeah. Today. Just, you know, 130 I'd actually probably years like of football this to navigate. Yeah. Would you now? Yeah, I would, yeah. Well, 
I might discount 50, 60 years of history just because a lot more goals on average per 90 were scored. Back in the day, weren't they? Back in the day. The first team to fail to score in a World Cup final. Is this a trick question? And it was in fact one of like the first finals played. Questions. I think you might be taking this first round, McCubb, and de deservedly so. Like you said, you got my questions as well. So good for, good for your win, good value. <laughs> Not done enough to deserve this yet, mate. Nothing, nothing salty in that. In, in the tone of your voice there. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Nothing but genuine admiration yeah. for your stunning form. I think you, you can't write yourself round. off yet, though, because no, this, is a, this is a... Uh, let's go... Well, Italy and France don't, you know, well, Italy, famously, famously uh, conservative side, Italy. I think that might be right. Really? I would have gone for Italy. I thought 1970. Really? Wow. Fair play. Fair play. I'm I mean, happy about that. The rationale of dismissing the first 60 years, I, sh I should have used it. <laughs> you should have actually I used it. I should have used, used it. Done. But there I we thought, have it. Yeah. McCubbin wins the first yes. round. Yes. Tiny snake burn on the ankle. Thanks Moving for that. Moving on to hot potato. So, I was awful at this last week. Hot potato! English hot potatoes. And the first one comes from Joshua Murray, and it's this. Can you name every single team that has won in Europa League. That'd be too easy though, wouldn't it, mate? Yes, it would. That doesn't play in Europe's top five leagues. Yeah? Stroke your way for cup. Seamless. Yeah? Um, uh, Shakhtar Zanet. Aston Villa. Zenit St. Petersburg. Uh, Galatasaray. Yeah. PSV. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Ajax. Yeah. Feyenoord. Yeah. Copenhagen. Um, uh, uh, Olympiacos. What? Um, uh, uh, CSKA. Yeah. Benfica. Sporting. Porto. Um, Spartak. No. Um, shit. Um, Come on, need oh, this no, in the bag. Yeah, yes! Yeah. Come well, on, the left? comeback is on. Who was left? Oh, only three. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, I uh, that wasted a good 10 seconds at the start there of Aston Villa. Nafo Odia Kostruda. Great name. Great question. Actually, no, not so good. The question's a piece of piss, and it's this. Can you name every single team in the Bundesliga? Yes, easy. It's going to be one of those ones where they just keep going back and forth dead quick. Wolfsburg, there's one. Uh, Freiburg. Dortmund. Bayern Munich. Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, Schalke. Wolfsburg. Munchen Gladbach. Why can I only think of Dynamo Dresden? Um, RB Leipzig. Um, Augsburg. Yeah. Good shout from you. Uh, Werder Bremen. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wolfsburg. Well, that. I said that. Oh, Köln. FC Köln. No. Um, oh, um, um, uh, not Leipzig. Hoffenheim. Yeah. Great shout. They were my next one. Bollocks. Uh, Nuremberg. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, yes, Nuremberg. Oh, man. Come on. Who was Crunch left? Time. Clutch play there from Who me. Was left? Boom. Leverkusen. <laughs> oh, pure bloody theatre. Yeah. End to end stuff, isn't That's it? Good. It's like total football, but quizzing. Yeah. Total quizzing. Total quizzing, yeah, nice. Like Can that. you remember a better final on Stat Wars? Probably not. I mean, I can't remember you, on Pat, you and Pat's no, one. No, it was, it was pretty was bad at the end of, end of the league. Um, but, you know, champion nonetheless. Anyway, let's get stuck in. So, boom, two footed. Go on. It's the final round. Come on, Kieran. Give us some <laughs> questions. Who am I? Everyone's least satisfying round. And for three points, can you tell Wilson? Thanks again, mate. You're doing all the hard work. Oh, who am I? I have played with Maldini. David Ginola. Di Matteo. But who am I? Roberto Baggio? Platini? I have won a Ballon d'Or, but I've never been to the World Cup. George Weah? Yes! Liberia. Ah, oh, now the president of Liberia. Hey. Next question. Who am I for three points? It comes from Victor Schlarte. Yeah? Get the nod. And it's the question is this. I have been in the same squad as O Black, 
Cristiano Ronaldo. You get ready for this, as the third player. And they are called Markovic. Lazar Markovic. Just one of Robbie Williams' charity games. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight in with uh, the Serge Pizzorno. World XR. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Just to clarify, not a dildo, okay? If you think that's a dildo, then, then you're... You're yeah, going to hurt yourself. Yeah. You're going to seriously maim your genitals. Um, I'm going to go with Jean Martinio. That <laughs> would have been a winger as well in my head, Jesus. Do you reckon? Yeah, How do you think Jesus would have played? He would have been, because he had the long hair, he would have, he would have probably yeah, had a bit of that An continental flair forward, as well. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a trekker yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I reckon he would have been gas as well. He would have been, yeah, he would have been, definitely. He could walk on water. Yeah, so, you know. Can do it at a cold, wet <laughs> Tuesday night at Stoke. <laughs> definitely could. Jesus, just gliding across the pitch. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. The waterlogged pitch doesn't matter for him. I've already decided my next answer, which isn't good, is it? I don't know. Yaya Torre. <laughs> for two points, I played in my previous club with a current Liverpool player, a current Man City player, and a current Chelsea loanee. Does that help you? No. Oh, no. Oh, God. Um, what a second. What was the first? I don't oh, know. No, come no. on. No, I, I'm just, I, I, I'm buzzed without knowing what to say. Um, I'm going to say... <laughs> shit, shit. Um, I'm going to say... Well, Jan Oblek. Sorry, I'll, I'll say it in like 10 seconds. Jan Oblek. <laughs> I've never seen Jan the likes, I know. likes of it before buzzing and giving Jan yourself 10 Oblek. seconds. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, you and are. Thing. You're revealing your true colours here, mate. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is this is like the Calciopoli scandal. It is. It is. Uh, I'm just going to say... Uh, <laughs> say Kevin it. Mbappe. Well, Chelsea players out on loan. They've got 40 players out on loan. That doesn't f***ing help, does it? Right, I'll answer in 10 seconds, just, you know. <laughs> Santi Mina. I don't know. No. I made more appearances than any other Man City player last season. Imagine that. What an achievement. Last season? You can't oh, just buzz God, in. Oh, God, I was going to say ever. Bernardo Silva. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> he hesitated and I took advantage. <laughs> <sighs> I was thinking about Bernardo Silva, but I thought uh, that, that's such a trick question because I knew he played for Monaco. We're not, you know. I thought it was statutory ten seconds after you buzz. You've <laughs> as if you were going to come in Why on, on that last oh, one. Oh, Bernardo Silva! Was, <laughs> it was just on my lips. Uh, yeah, I was of course moments it was. When of course I never would have got it. Michael, three points in the first two questions. That means I have to get the big three pointer to take this to a tiebreaker. Ooh. So it's looking like you might be the first champ, champ. To stay in the Super Cup. Oh, the tension. The question, though, comes from H. Augustuson. Can't pronounce your first name, so let's move on. And it's this. I have played with David Beckham. Tiago Silva. That's two of them. Luis Suarez. And Max Meyer. And guess what? None of them were international level, yeah? The power of editing, I will look like a full-time presenter. I've got to get this, haven't I? I was going to have a guess yeah, then, but it's got to be watertight. I've got to <laughs> really feel this deep in the plums. Mm. I don't think if I give myself the extra time, I'll get there. I'm going to go the centre-back, mm. Sissoko. Sissoko? Which Sissoko? The, the, the centre-back with the blonde hair, played at Liverpool, was sold to Palace. Oh, oh yeah. He was at PSG okay, for yeah. a little bit as well. Is it what hat? Yeah, that's his name, right? One second. Well, well, uh, I'm, I'm, hold on. This? Is it Sissoko? What is that? Is that his I'm name? Not, I'm now getting the feeling that this is right, but you've got to look up the wrong name. <laughs> There's a weird tension in the studio. I... But I've, I've I've forgotten his name as well. Oh uh, right, yeah, I know his name now. Oh for f sake, can I come in with that? Or I oh, feel what a like controversial I'm end. Um, you got to get his name in the next. Let's, let's say you got to get his name in the next like twenty seconds. Otherwise, why, why can't I remember his name? Oh well, that's just thirty seconds of pure agony because I've got the person and not his name. What a weird end. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> it was, it was going to happen. It was always going to happen, wasn't what, it? Some sort of controversy. Yeah. Mohamed Sissoko. Ma oh, I kind of just think Mohamed Sissoko. Ali Sissoko. Sissoko DR. Um, Sissoko DR? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's it, not is, it is very similar to that name. It is very similar. No. I'm not, I'm not getting there. I mean, I'm not going to answer because like, you, you, you gave the, out, the answer. I'm the not going to take that as a three points, but I know. But I've, I've, I've connected those dots and I've not got the actual player's name at the very end. This could be my lowest ebb on Stat Wars. It may well be. What, what, what an anticlimax. Are we ending there or are we going to the next question to conclude? Uh, there's no point. Because I know the answer. Now. I've got, I've got, I've, you know the answer and I've got to get three points to win anyway. Oh, man. I've man, really, I've gonna... really <laughs> this up. I've really <laughs> this up. S sit. Ah! It's done. It was uh, Mamadou Sacco. Sacco! Yeah. No! Right. <laughs> Mamadou Sacco. Oh, idiot. Such a great final was only going to end one way, wasn't it? In, in anti climax. <laughs> I'm absolutely heartbroken, man. Mate, I am. Yeah, no, like, oh, yeah, I feel for you. I feel for you. Oh. I there was, I had a similar thing a couple of, in our one, it, was, it wasn't quite as close to that. Uh, but I you know what? Forgot the name, knew the player, forgot the name, it's just like, yeah. You can't have it all. I've won Stat Wars the League, I'm extremely grateful for, you know, that, that honour. Um, but yeah. the first Super Copper goes to Michael. He now holds two of the three belts. Do, yeah, I mean, there's only one belt in actual existence, yeah. aren't there? But the other two. You've you also know, got I'll that. You've also taken it home. I've taken it home, and I'm which, not you know, returning I've been it. Been meaning to pull you up on. So yeah, honest, so but, uh, probably won't see that again. He's, he's sold it for scrap. I've sold it for scrap. Well, Sacco, that is a name and a hairstyle that will haunt me for the rest of my days until I'm worm food. Yeah. Although, don't get buried in space, do you? No. Shot from a cannon into the sun. Obliterated. You know. The best way to go. Unless I get the Sacco, which was. Yeah, my joke originally Your off joke camera, so in yeah. the last take that so, we extra point for that. messed it up. Good enough to recycle though. Anyway, let's end on a slightly more uplifting note because like we said at the start of this episode, you can download a Now TV Sky Sports month pass for just £5.99. All you loyal EFD viewers, get in the link in the description below to check out the details on how you can do that. The first fixture of this month would be Wolves versus Leicester. What a high quality tie that is. Yeah, Midlands clash. Yeah, the black country against the mighty foxes. So it doesn't get much better than that. Does it doesn't. It? it really um, doesn't. Two of the better yeah. sides in the middle of the Premier League. What else is there to watch? Uh, there is FDFC to go and subscribe to if you haven't already. A new strand came out this week. Squad goals, where all the lads in the office get lads, together lads, lads, lads. and play a bit of uh, play a bit of FIFA. Yeah. So if that doesn't sound, you know. Sad enough to you, then uh, go over and uh, oh. go over and watch it. The university all over again. Regressive behaviour, yeah. if anything. So degenerates, but Proper. it's a good laugh. Vagabonds. And uh, and the star of the show, you've never seen before either. So John Babs yeah. in it as well. Bye. John Babs in it. Yeah.